now we all know that if we have when we have a demand okay when we have a demand situation and especially when the demand situation is like that that your demand is more and your supply is less demand is more and supply is less when these situations are there on these situations you need to handle the things well okay you need to make sure you have a right strategy in place so that you would be able to provide your supply to all the specific demands all the required demands it should not happen that uh, one customer came with a big sales order you have supplied to him and then you don't have anything to supply to other customers okay you want to divide your supply into the demands and in this case we are considering where we know approx figures what would be my supplies in each month okay let's take an example of a iphone iphone launches a new variant let's say i16 now i16 they would be producing specific quantities in first 6 month january february march april my january they are producing 50000 i am putting total here february they are producing 70000 80000 90000 and 100000 this is assume this is a quantity they would be bringing in the market the supply would be coming from 50 70 80 90000 1 lakh like. and this is because a new launch after that the quantities and the supplies will increase now this when they are coming with this 50000 quantity if they will give it to the single country if they will give to india region they would be able to consume all these quantities but they don't want to give it to the single country they want to strategically divide this quantities to the different regions so that the a buzz need to be created in the market so that we would be able to get a a further demand created it so this particular product which is a new they want to uh, supply across the region with the strategy right so with the strategy then they will require a product allocation if there is no strategy is there and uh, 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 from india we got a order of uh, 40000 they it would be supplied to india and then all other countries regions uh, would be unsupplied right so for that what we do we do the product allocation with the product allocation will be saying let's say in this uh, one uh, we are using a country as a usa i'm giving just giving an example india china usa india china and uh, let me take an example of uh, south africa in these countries we want to distribute we say that okay 20000 we will give it to usa 10000 will give it to india 10000 will give it to south africa and 10000 will give it to china and south africa so with this what we are doing it we are making a constraint that within india that supply would be happening only 10000 okay if i have a stock of 50000 i got a sales order and i also have a atp quantity but still i don't want to do the confirmation i don't want to do the confirmation i want to check the product allocation okay so what is going to happen in the product allocation actually when you get the uh, when you get the uh, sales order system would be first checking the atp quantity sales order require 25000 system will check atp right now the full stock is available atp is 50000 but after checking the atp after checking this is called product allocation this is called product availability check after checking the product availability check pac system would be checking do we have product allocation and this order is for the delivery in the january month do we have a product allocation and this order let's say came from india so although i have a 50000 quantity but i don't have a product allocation available product allocation is only 10000 so what would be happening in this case system would be doing a confirmation of only 10000 quantity although stock is there although atp is there 
because there is a hard constraint here that this customer is coming from uh, India. And for the January month, we can we can only allocate India only a 10,000 quantity. So the confirmation would be happening only for 10,000. Okay, so first product availability check is done. Then product allocation is the check is done. And the confirmation, uh, uh, product allocation act as a further confirmation, further uh, constraint on the confirmation and that would be checked and then the allocation would be done accordingly. Now this I have said, the country, this countries can be a different sales organizations for you. We are basically, you would be putting this allocations and within the sales organization also, you can say that India as a 10,000, you can have then put it a constraint based on the regions in India. How much Karnataka, how much Maharashtra, how much Gujarat, how much into the uh, UP, okay? That further constraint also you can mention that what should be the allocation quantity in each of the region. Or you can mention this for the particular customers also. You can also do the customers. So this is generally in, in normal uh, uh, product allocation that on what level we are maintaining the product allocation. This is called characteristics combinations. In technical language, it will call CVC, characteristics value combinations. That on which characteristics value combination, whether for the sales organization, for country, for region, you are applying it and you can apply the multi-level also. You can say that for my sales organization in country USA, in my region Karnataka, for customer one, this is my allocation. Or you can also have a hierarchical allocation for a country level allocation, region level allocation, and then under the region, you can have a customer level allocation. That also you can define it. That totally depends how business define these allocations. Okay, What strategies business want to put it. But in all this calculation, there is one thing which you need to note it down. Yeah, we need to know the supplies. We need to know how much of supply is coming in each of the month. We should be having some idea of the supplies. In many cases, the idea of the supply business would be having. They have a capacity constraints in the manufacturing based on that. Or if you are buying it based on your vendor capacities, you would be knowing that in each month, how much of the supply how much of the product you will be producing it or how much of the product you will be buying it that you would be knowing it. And based on that, you should be or you would be able to allocate your quantity. So knowing the supplying is uh, is the constraint here. And the other right. constraint is this distribution, which we are talking about this distribution of the products to the different different uh, uh, combinations and to the different months. This also business need to come up with this strategy business need to come up business can use some bw reports or bi to get the data to work the data and fine tune the data put their own constraint and they need to bring this data as of now in product allocation Product allocation itself cannot suggest that what should be the distribution, that distribution business need to bring it up. It can, the distributions can be uploaded. We have upload function feature. We can upload the distributions into the system, but this data need to come from the business. So this is product allocation. This is product allocation in SAP. We would be discussing that how the, the AATP product allocation would be much better and how we would be able to configuring this product allocation in the system. But before I jump ahead into the further discussion, anyone has any basic question? Ki what is product allocation? Any basic question on the product allocation? Yes, I have. So it's basically reserving the stocks to customer and customer groups uh, and like uh, the hierarchies which we define, right? Hmm. Uh, I will just correct the statement. It is not reserving the stock. It is not reserving the stock because stock would not be reserved but the ATP quantities would be resolved. Okay. It is just putting a constraint that if we have put it this quantity, system would not be over consuming, system would be not be doing over confirmation of the sales order beyond these quantities. 
Okay. Beyond this quantity, system will not do. If you think that this will do, I have a stock of 10,000. I have an order of 10,000. My product allocation is there for 10,000. And my confirmation is done according to 10,000. And that stock will not be used anywhere else. That is not going to happen. Okay, that stock reservation, hard lock stock reservation, this does not apply. Okay, this will be just check the ATP quantity and based on the ATP quantity, it will be doing a confirmation. So in other way, you can say this is confirming our sales order with the additional constraint in ATP with the allocation which we defined. So now you understand what is product allocation. Mm -hmm.